Uh, and so if the reaction is good, that's always really, really nice. And we'll see, you know, hopefully people uh, want to get out to the theaters and go see it. And, uh, and we'll know in about four days. Matt Damon is an American actor, writer, producer, and philanthropist. Damon began his acting career by appearing in high school theater productions. He's been active in the film industry since the mid-1990s and has been a major box office draw in recent years. Matt Damon received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2007. He's the recipient of various accolades, including an Academy Award and two Golden Globe Awards, in addition to nominations for three British Academy Film Awards, six Screen Actors Guild Awards, and seven Primetime Emmy Awards. He was named the Sexiest Man Alive in 2007 by People Magazine. He's in California, so it was great to, uh, if, I could have, if I could have two women pinch hit for her, it would be my mom and my oldest, my oldest daughter. That's pretty, pretty awesome to share this with them. And if you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Matthew Page Damon, but is also known as Matt Damon. He was born October 8, 1970 in Cambridge, Massachusetts, making him 51 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.78 meters or 5 feet 10 inches tall. His favorite sport is baseball, and he loves to eat pizza. His favorite book is A People's History of the United States by Howard Zinn. He grew up next door to Howard Zinn, who's considered a radical historian. Damon references Zinn's seminal work, A People's History of the United States, as well in Goodwill Hunting. When asked about his favorite drunk food, he said, When I was at college, I'd find myself eating cheese doodles. I'd go to the 7-Eleven and get, you know, the puffy kind. Like his best friend Ben Affleck, he was an avid fan and collector of Daredevil comics growing up. Matt famously gave up the lead acting role in Manchester by the Sea and instead opted to act as a producer. His replacement, Casey Affleck, Ben's little brother, went on to win an Oscar for the role. Matt is extremely passionate about philanthropy and supports 37 charitable organizations. He's an ambassador for 1x1, a nonprofit organization that seeks to improve the lives of children in North America, and a spokesperson for Feeding America, a foundation that fights hunger. He founded H2O Africa Foundation and co-founded the Not On Our Watch project, which aims to prevent mass genocide such as that in Darfur. In 2017, at the height of the Harvey Weinstein controversy and the hashtag MeToo movement, Damon gave a series of interviews in which he seemed to minimize the abuse suffered by sexual assault victims. In 2018, he apologized for his comments during an appearance on the Today Show. He's the real-life best friend of Ben Affleck. Each has starred together or had cameos in each of the other's films. He's friends with Casey Affleck, George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Joaquin Phoenix, and Wyclef Jean. Damon met his Argentine wife, Luciana Bozan, while filming Stuck on You in Miami in April 2003. They became engaged in September 2005 and married in a private civil ceremony at the Manhattan Marriage Bureau on December 9, 2005. They have three daughters together, born in June 2006, August 2008, and October 2010. He also has a stepdaughter, Alexia Barroso, born in 1998 from Bozan's previous marriage and considers her to be his own. Smarter than me, and they had me figured out kind of from the time they were toddlers. So, uh, but mom's not afraid to lay down the law, and uh, so there is discipline in the house, uh, which is good. Cause... His parents, stockbroker Kent Damon and Professor Nancy Carlson Page, divorced when Matt was two. He and his brother Kyle were raised in Cambridge by their mother in a six-family communal house. One of Matt's childhood best friends is fellow A-lister Ben Affleck. Both boys wanted to be actors from a very early age. Damon attended Harvard University from 1988 to 1992, but dropped out 12 credits shy of a BA in English. In the late 80s and early 90s, Matt landed a few roles in movies like Mystic Pizza, Courage Under Fire, and School Ties. 
When he left school in 1992, it was to film Geronimo, an American legend, mistakenly thinking it would be his first major box office success. His big break came a few years later when he and Ben Affleck rode and starred in Good Will Hunting. Other important film roles quickly followed in blockbusters such as The Rainmaker, Saving Private Ryan, and The Talented Mr. Ripley. Although some of the films he made in the late 90s and early 2000s were flops at the box office, Damon's performances were generally well received. Matt Damon struck serious pay dirt when he was cast in George Clooney's Ocean Trilogy. He appeared in all three installments as conman Linus Caldwell. The actor found another cash cow when he landed the starring role in the Jason Bourne franchise. The Bourne Identity, which was released in 2002, earned him critical acclaim as well as a reputation as an up-and-coming action hero. He reprised his role in two more Bourne films, but opted not to appear in the fourth. The Bourne Legacy, which was released in 2012. Damon came back for the fifth movie of the series, 2016's Jason Bourne. Along with Ben Affleck and others, Damon produced the reality series Project Greenlight, in which first-time filmmakers were given the opportunity to develop their own film projects. Damon has also performed voiceover work in both animated and documentary films and has established two production companies with Affleck. In 2021, it was confirmed that Damon would reunite with director Christopher Nolan for Nolan's upcoming biographical film, Oppenheimer. He'll be playing Leslie Groves, the director of The Manhattan Project. In 2022, he was set to star in an untitled feature film based on the life of former Nike executive Sonny Vaccaro, co-starring and directed by Ben Affleck. Yeah, so, no, I'm very, I'm, 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 I'm really happy with, she's a great kid and, and a great young woman, I should say, and she's making great decisions, so I'm, 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 all, I'm all for it. Ranked among Forbes' most bankable stars, the films in which he's appeared have collectively earned over $3.88 billion at the North American box office, making him one of the highest grossing actors of all time. Damon, Affleck, and Chris Moore founded the production company Live Planet to produce the show. Later, Damon and Affleck went on to found another production company, Pearl Street Films. He earned a collective $87 million for all four Bourne films. Matt Damon's net worth is $170 million. In 2012, Matt and Luciana paid $15 million for an impressive mansion in the Pacific Palisades neighborhood of Los Angeles. Situated on the same premier street that his buddy Ben Affleck still calls home, Damon's 13,500-square-foot residence is in the mid-price range for Pacific Palisades with seven bedrooms, ten bathrooms, and 0 0.3 hectares of lushly landscaped grounds with mature trees, a koi pond, a children's play area, and a resort-style pool and spa. Master architect Grant Kirkpatrick of Ka Design used warm woods, natural stone, and lots of glass while including artful details throughout the spacious mansion. The home's focal point is its central atrium with 11-meter vaulted mahogany ceilings that let in plenty of natural light. They listed the 13,500-square-foot home for sale in January 2021 for $21 million. They lowered the price to $17.9 million in August 2021 and found a buyer a month later. In 2017, they paid $16.8 million for a penthouse in the Brooklyn Heights neighborhood of New York City. At the time, it was the highest price ever paid for a home in Brooklyn. He owns the following cars, a Tesla Roadster, a Tesla Model S, a Cadillac Escalade, a Toyota Sequoia, a Toyota Prius. 